question. And I'm proud of you with what we with the that performance. Pretty proud. I think um the boys the boys I don't know, rugby league, you put your body on the line like that continuously up against, you know, Australia. Um, they didn't let up. Very proud, very, very proud of the performance. Um, they could have easily buckled at any time during that game and, you know, wait for the waiting for it to end. But I don't think we did that at all. We just kept uh, colliding the whole 80 minutes. Proud of them. You must have been proud of the way they attacked as well, because you really had a crack when a lot of teams could have just shut up shop and tried to get to the end. That was a plan, the plan that uh, you know we weren't just going to sit there and try and charge it out one one at a time against Australia. But um, we've got some class players there that have got some ability, and we've worked pretty hard with our attack um, over the last month. Um, and we don't want to sit. We just didn't want to sit there and hope that things, hope we made a break. We wanted to chase, chase it, so, and the boys did it, and it was pretty slick, it looked slick at times. Was happy with that, um, especially on the back of, you know, sometimes being down our own, own end for long periods, we still hit back with something. So that was another thing we were pretty proud of, that we didn't sit, just sit down and uh, cop it. Um, we threw back everything we had, tried our best. And what about Joe Cellerino? For someone like that who's growing up playing in Parkfield to come and play against the Kangaroos, must be a huge moment for him. Well, I'm pretty sure that that's as big as it, it would, it, it, you know, can get for a, a player like that from Italy. He's Joelli's put in a big effort um, over the last few years. His play, he's gone to play. Um, there's not enough, up, not no one to really play for in Italy at the moment, especially with COVID and things like that. But he's made the effort to go to France and put his life on hold to keep playing rugby league. Um, so he, he deserved it, um, deserved to have something like that happen for him. And I'm just uh, really happy for him that he got that opportunity. Thanks. what are your emotions at the moment? Yeah, uh, very proud of the boys. Um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a good couple of weeks, obviously. Uh, proud of him uh, for myself and, and uh, being the captain and um, yeah, I couldn't be proud of uh, the boys' efforts, and yeah, it's a privilege to obviously lead uh, lead those boys out there. You know, we um, we fought hard, and um, yeah, that, that was uh, like Leo said, that was our, our plan all along uh, this tournament. No matter um, who we're playing, we just want to go out there and uh, have a crack. What did you think of Australia tonight? Um, I thought the first 10, 15 minutes was um, yeah, it was uh, it was a good game, and then um, yeah, once obviously Australia get that roll on, you know, they got the, some obviously the best players in the world and they just capitalised on that and they just took the game away from us but um, yeah that, I thought the first 10-15 we uh, yeah we had to go. Now, how would you sum up the tournament and, and Italy's campaign and, and what they've done so far? Um, yeah we started off well, obviously against Scotland and yeah obviously these last two weeks um, yeah it wasn't ideal on, on the scoreboard but uh, we learned a lot from from last week um, we, 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 we thought that you know, uh, we could have fought more last week, and that was our game plan coming into this week. It was just, yeah, don't worry about the scoreboard, just um, fight for the 80 minutes. And yeah, like I said, I couldn't be proud of um, of uh, the boys. And yeah. Question for both of you: Do you want to talk about the Australian halfback spot over the opening three weeks of this tournament? Who should get the job? <laughs> uh, I don't know. To be honest, with you. obviously three, um, you know, great halves and. Um, yeah, I guess no matter no matter who because in that position they're gonna um they're they're gonna be they're gonna be a quality football side. Leo, there's uh, some players steering clear, Leo. Oh yeah, I was I was gonna hand that over to Brownie anyway, but yeah, geez that that's a that's a um yeah, like he said, just some quality halves. Um, you know, good position to be in, but that's Australia. Um I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, maybe put them in that, put the names in a hat, mm. <laughs> draw it out, not sure. Leo, over the three games, not just tonight, there's some players that look like they should be playing either in Super League or in the NRL. Do you think we're going to hear some of these young guys again, like Polselli and Mays and Moretti? Are we, is, is this the start of something for them? Well, we'd, we'd hope so, that, you know, that that's, 
that's another part to the tournament that, you know, players are able to put themselves on show um, and motivation, you know, to perform. There can't be anything much higher than the, than the opportunities that they've just got. So um, I, I think that there's some quality in there. Like, I don't like to say that, you know, there's a... that it's 100% that, that, that things like that are going to happen, but... Geez, there's some quality uh, players in there that some of the Super League clubs or, or NRL, and there's some young boys in there as well. They're not, um, you know, they're, they're not at the end of their career, they're at the start of their career. Um, and you'd be thinking that they're only going to get better. So, and we'd be happy as an organisation too for opportunities to, to you know, someone to out, like we, we, we've spoken a lot about that um, uh, Minnie and Teddy. Um, um, obviously played for Italy. I think Mini played for Italy before he played NRL, I think it was. Um, there's some great players that can come out of this. So, yeah, um, I'm hoping... I hope for the boys that opportunities present themselves. Another question for you both. Who plays in the final and who wins? Oh, that's a tough one, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's a, obviously a bit of an open um, World Cup, but, yeah, Australia... Look, the favourites, to be honest, they, um, yeah, they played well these last yeah, three games. What do you think, Leo? I, I think I'd um, love Australia, Australia to win at the end of the day. You know, we're, we're born in Australia as well. You know, we, we, um, I represent my parents, both born in Italy. Um, Nathan, sim, similar with his grandparents. Um, but if it's not Italy, it's got to be Australia, doesn't it? That's all I could say. <laughs> Excuse me, could you tell us something about the game in Italy? Um, is there such a thing? Is there such a thing? As the rugby league game in Italy. Well, there's been... We probably need to move forward, you know, faster with that, but there's been a couple of years of COVID that's done a lot of damage. Um, the game in Italy, we, we've sat down and spoken about some planning after the World Cup to try and make the game happen and something domestically but I know of some things that are coming up domestic wise um, over the next hopefully month or so and some international games so yeah I, we'd like it to grow, we need it to grow um, as as the years go on the um, heritage of the people um, in Australia it um, obviously reduces we need to get our plays from somewhere, but ultimately the goal for us, the goal for us too, we're not just about Australian players, Australian Italian players representing Italy. We want the Joellies and, and and more of them to come from Italy, and um, I hope that we can move forward, uh, especially on the back end of COVID. Without COVID, there maybe we can do our best to support Italy to try and make that happen. Thank you. Any more? Any more? Thanks, guys. Thank you.